Hello everyone and I welcome you all in the very next lecture on uh, formation of partial differential equation. In the last learning video we have seen how to eliminate arbitrary constants to get the partial differential equation. In this learning video we will see how to uh, eliminate arbitrary functions to get the partial differential equations. Okay, so we have this problem. So whatever problem you want me to take, I will take. Okay, so let us start with the first problem. Uh, let z is equal to x y plus f of x square plus y square. Okay, and you know that how we solve such type of problems, we just have to differentiate, differentiate partially with respect to x and y. So what we'll be getting, see here now, this is very important, del z by del x. Del z by del x is equal to, now derivative with respect to x, keeping y constant. So derivative of x is 1, keeping, x consta keeping y constant as it is. Plus, derivative of this function with respect to x, this involves x and y both, so I have to take f dash of x square plus y square into what is derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x? 2x. Okay. Then del z by del y. So what is del z by del y? Derivative of z with respect to y keeping x constant. So x as it is because it is an into into 1 plus this is f dash of x square plus y square into into derivative of this with respect to y is 2y simple now what is this del z by del x what is this del z by del x this del z by del x means p i can take this to the left so this is p minus y is equal to 2x into f dash of x square plus y square. Next, this is q. q minus x is equal to 2y into f dash of x square plus y square. Now, this must everyone can do. Now, my question is how can we eliminate this function? How can, how we can eliminate this function? So, what is your answer? Think uh, very simple. Don't make things complicated. So, if we can divide on dividing these two values, on dividing, we get. So, when you divide this, what you'll be getting? P minus Y upon Q minus X. Left hand side with left hand side and right hand side with right hand side so what it should be it should be 2x into f dash of x square plus y square upon 2y into f dash of x square plus y square and this get cancelled with this so what we remain with we remain with p minus y upon you can multiply actually this py minus y square is equal to qx minus x square. So, you can write that is pyp minus xq is equal to y square minus x square. And this is the required partial differential equation for the given relation this. If you want, I can solve one more problem and the remaining one problem you can solve on your own. So, which problem I should take? <laughs> Second or third? Okay. I will take uh, any problem uh, like say, third problem is the easiest one. So, you want me to take the third problem or the second one? Second problem you can solve like this. Okay. So, just the change of function from this to this. So, if you want, I can take it. So, let z is equal to f of y by 
x okay so when you differentiate partially with respect to x and y i will be getting what i will be getting del z by del x is equal to what is derivative of this f dash of y by x into into derivative of y by x with respect to x so y constant into derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 upon x square what is del z by del y f dash of y by x into 1 by x is constant into derivative of y with respect to y is 1 so if you want we can write it uh, nicely like p is equal to this uh, you can write p is equal to q is equal to so this is like p is equal to f dash of y by x into minus y by x square and q is equal to f dash of y by x into 1 by x now you know you are smart now how to do just divide it so when you divide it you will be getting p upon q is equal to p by q is equal to what is it f dash f dash get cancelled so this is minus y by x square into x by 1 so 1x get cancelled with this so p by q is equal to minus y by x so this is like xp is equal to minus yq or you can write that is xp minus plus yq is equal to 0 so this is the required partial differential equation for the given equation number 3 okay so i hope this is making some sense and i want you to solve this problem and uh, the answer of this uh, answer of this second problem you can put in the comment section okay so thank you enjoy learning mathematics and thank you very much